hello welcome to the AI solution channel in this video we'll be looking at an example that borders on the application of the equations of motion as far as rectilinear motion is concerned and we're going to walk through this problem we're going to try to seek solution to some of the questions that are raised in this problem and the question says states that the motion of an object starting from zero position is defined by the equation x is equal to 40 cubed minus 6t square plus 3t plus 5 where x and t are in meters and seconds respectively that means x stands for position and t stands for time and we're told to determine the position velocity and acceleration when t that's time is 5 seconds the position and velocity when acceleration is zero and the acceleration when the velocity is five meter per seconds and we're going to also see some other arbitrary cases as well to begin with we need to first identify what has been given to us in the problem as we saw they gave us an equation for the position at any point in time and they gave us a time five seconds and we're asked to look for the position the first question asks us to look for the position at that time the velocity as well as the acceleration so we're going to start by solving this problem this particular a part of the problem and to solve it is straightforward first we must understand that we are looking for the position then we're given an equation for position and we are told that we should find the position after five seconds that's when time is five seconds so the first thing is just to put the value of t which is five into the equation x and we get an answer for the position when the time is five seconds to be 370 so if you put the value of t into the equation you get 370 for the position to find the velocity there is an equation that relates velocity and distance and that's v is equal to ds dt so that is to say since we've been given an equation for distance we're going to differentiate this equation by putting it in the place of x in the in the equation of the velocity so if we do that we have d dt of um, our position of the equation of our position and once that is done if you differentiate you get v is equal to 12t square minus 12t plus 3. so having done that the next thing to do is to find the value of velocity when time is 5 seconds by putting um, the value of time t into the equation for velocity and we will get 243 meter per seconds when we do that the next part of this aspect of the question requires us to find acceleration and acceleration is is gotten by differentiating the position equation or the displacement equation twice or you differentiate the velocity once that's a is equal to dv dt or d2s dt square so let's not forget that we've gotten an equation for velocity earlier so if we put that equation of velocity into the formulation for determination of acceleration we get ddt of the value of v and when we differentiate that we get one simple equation for acceleration let's not forget that we are looking for the value of acceleration when time is five seconds so we put the value of t into the acceleration equation and we get our answer a is equal to 108 meter per second square the next we're told to look for the position and velocity when acceleration is zero let's note the word find position velocity when the word when is pointing to a term time that is saying for the time that the acceleration is zero what is the position and velocity the first call will be to determine that time for which acceleration is zero and once you've gotten the time for which acceleration is zero then you can impute the value of that time into your equation for position and your equation for velocity to get our answers so we've already gotten um, we started by by working with our equation of displacement we differentiated that and we got our equation for velocity we differentiated further and we got our equation for acceleration then after we've gotten that we want, we want to find the time when the acceleration is equal to zero so that is to say we are looking for we're going to equate our 
equation of acceleration to be zero and if you do that you get that 24t minus 12 is equal to zero and this equation can easily be solved to look for the value of t and if you do that you get t to be 0 0.5 seconds and if t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds we can then answer our question to find the position of to find the position when the acceleration is zero is same thing as finding the position when time is 0 0.5 seconds so the next thing to do is to put our value of time into the equation of position and we'll get our value for position that's the displacement when time is 0 0.5 seconds that is when acceleration is zero to be 5.5 meters then after that the next thing we want to find is the velocity when acceleration is zero which is same thing as the velocity when time t is equal to 0 0.5 seconds so it's just to put the value of time into our equation for velocity and we'll get v to be equal to zero meter per second that is to say when the acceleration is zero the velocity is also zero and let's not forget that the acceleration the acceleration is changing with time and velocity is changing with time then the next we want to answer the question the acceleration when the velocity is five meter per seconds this question this question is similar to the previous one the acceleration when the velocity is 5 meters per second. The first question to ask, us, to ask ourselves is when is the velocity equal to 5 meters per second? That's what time? What is the value of t when v is equal to 5 meters per second? We had our position given to us and we we're able to work out our velocity as well by differentiating our position. And also we had an equation for acceleration that is when we differentiated our velocity to be 24t minus 12. Then the next thing to do is to ask, at what time is velocity equal to 5 meter per second? That is to say, our value of velocity, our equation for velocity will equate it to 5. And if we do that, we get 5 is equal to 12t square minus 12t plus 3. And then the next thing to do is to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation to get a simple quadratic equation. And if you solve your quadratic equation, you get t to be equal to 12 plus or minus 15.46. And if that is done, you get our time to be a negative value and a positive value. And we take our positive value for time, which is 27.49 seconds. And the question is not to calculate for the time when the velocity is 5 meter per second but to determine the acceleration at that time so so if we call back our acceleration equation and we impute our value of time into the acceleration equation we we'll get the value of acceleration a to be 647.81 meter per second square square and that's the value of the acceleration when the velocity is 5 meter per second and the time that the velocity will get to that 5 meter per second is 27.49 seconds. Now, the other cases that you may want to try out, for example, consider this the question twisted in this form. The instantaneous velocity of the system is described by the equation V is equal to 12t squared minus 12t plus 3, given that it took 5 seconds to cover a distance of 370 meters. Calculate the distance the car would have traveled after 10 seconds and there's acceleration at that time now for this case the velocity is given to us and they give us other conditions as well um, they give us time and they give us the distance for that time and the, the, the procedure will be to integrate the velocity to get distance and when you integrate you get a constant of integration if you impute our values of t to be 5 if we impute our values of t if we input our value of distance 370 when t is equal to 5, you can work it out to get your equation, your, your equations of position. Then you put in your value of time, 10 seconds. Now for this problem to work it out, because velocity has been given to us, they also give us time and they give us distance covered at that time. So the procedure would be to integrate our value of velocity. And once you do that, you're likely going to get a constant of integration added to your equation and once that is done if you impute your values of position and the time 
it took to get to that position you can work out the equation to get your constant of integration c and by so doing you will get an equation for displacement at every point in time so if you're to find the displacement of 10 seconds you just put your value of 10 into that same equation you get your final answer why to get the acceleration you just differentiate the velocity equation that has been given to us and you impute your value of t time 10 seconds into the equation then you will get your value of acceleration at that time then a second case could be that they give us acceleration at any point in time of a moving particle governed by an equation a is equal to 24t minus 12. Then they give us the velocity and distance traveled after 5 seconds to be 243 and 370 meters respectively. And we are told to calculate the distance, the velocity and the acceleration of the particle after 10 seconds. Well, for this case, because acceleration has been given unto us, we have to integrate first to get the velocity equation. And once you do that, you get a constant of integration. To determine the value of that constant of integration, you need to impute your value of velocity, which is 243 meter per second, at 5 seconds. Once you do that, you should you, and you evaluate the equation, you should get your constant of integration. Then once you integrate again, you get your displacement. And once you get your displacement, there is also going to be a constant of integration for your displacement equation. If you impute your value of displacement to be 370 at 5 seconds and you put the value of t which is 5 seconds into the equation, you get your constant of integration for the displacement. Then if you go back to impute your value of t 10 seconds into both equations, you get your final answer. Think this will be all for now i want to thank you for your time i believe that the video was clear enough please do well to subscribe to my channel thank you and see you in subsequent videos